Hi guys, so today we're going to learn chapter 3 mall concept and these are the subtopics for chapter 3 and we're going to focus today on 3.1 Avogadro number and molar mass. So by the end of this lesson, you should be able to define mole in terms of mass of carbon-12 and Avogadro's constant and also relate the number with molar mass and molar volume of gas at different condition. So let's do some introduction. So if I say a pair of shoes, that means two shoes, isn't it? And also if I say one dozen of eggs, that means I have 12 eggs. And if I have one box of nails, that means I have lots and lots of nails. What is mole actually? So a mole is defined as the amount of substance which contain equal number of particles, atoms, molecules, and ions, as there are in 12.00 grams of carbon-12. Satu orang saintis ni nama dia Amedio Avogadro. Okay, dia introduce satu number, nama dia Avogadro's number, sempena nama dia, which is to represent the amount of one mole too. Okay, kalau kita tengok mole tu sebenarnya number je dia bilang. So, satu mole is equivalent to 6.02 exponent 23. Jadi, kalau kita tulis kosong dia tu, tu nak kosong, 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 kosong sebanyak, banyak kali. Alright? For example, kalau saya cakap 1 mole of hydrogen atom, saya ada 6.02 exponent 23 hydrogen atom. Banyak kan? Kalau 1 mole of CO2 molecule, 6.02 exponent 23 CO2 molecule. And 1 mole of Na plus ion, sama dengan 6.02 exponent 23 Na plus ion. So, Avogadro's constant Na represent the number of particles exist in exactly 12.00 grams of carbon-12 atom, which is Na equals to 6.02 exponent 23 per mole. Ah, uh, satu mole lah. Jadi, one mole can also be defined as the amount of substance that contains Avogadro's number of particle. Now, let's have a look at the relationship between moles and number of particles. So, number of mole, or N, is actually equals to number of particle divided by Avogadro's number. So, N equals to N, capital N, divided by Na, which is 6.02 exponent 23. Now, let's talk about molar mass. So, molar mass is the mass of one mole of any substance. When I say one mole of any substance, that means mass of 6.02 exponent 23 particles. And the unit is gram per mole, either like this or like this. So, the value is numerically equal to relative atomic mass, AR, or relative molecular mass, MR. It's just that they have a unit. For example, the molar mass and the AR for mg both 24, but AR got no unit and molar mass have gram per mole as a unit. And example 2, for CH4, the molar mass and the MR both 16, but molar mass got unit, 16 gram per mole. Now let's have a look at the relationship between mole and molar mass. So number of mole is equals to mass divided by molar mass. So N equals to M over molar mass. Moving on, let's have a look at molar volume of gas. So molar volume of gas is the volume occupied by one mole of any gas, which means one mole of any gas has the same volume under the same temperature and pressure. The condition of temperature and pressure can be classified into two. The standard temperature and pressure, STP, and the room temperature and pressure, RTP. So at STP, the temperature is 273.15 Kelvin and pressure 1 atm. Meanwhile, for room temperature and pressure is 298.15 Kelvin and the pressure is 1 atm. And at STP, the molar volume of any gas is 22.4 dm3 per mole. Meanwhile, at room temperature is 24.0 dm3 per mole. Now let's have a look at the relationship between mole and molar volume of gas. Number of mole is equal to volume of gas divided by molar volume of gas. So N equals to V over Vm. And let me just remind you, the volume must be in dm cube. So 1 dm cube is equal to 1 litre or equals to 1000 cm cube or 1000 milliliter. So this is the summary of this subtopic. So mass in grams convert to mole divided by molar mass and then times with Na, Avogadro, you got number of particles. And mass to mole is bridged, okay, by molar mass, itu hubungan dia. And then mole dengan number of particles dihubungkan dengan Avogadro's number. And mole dengan volume of gas pula dihubungkan melalui molar volume. Jadi, apa-apa kena lalu mole. So, molar mass kita dapat daripada table of relative mass, okay. Molar volume pula ikut condition. And then Na sentiasa 6.0 to exponent 23.